Hi, welcome to Guy in the Cube. We're going to take a look at how to bulk assign licenses within Office 365. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Adam Saxton, and we're going to take a look at how to bulk assign licenses. So you may be asking, why do I care about this, at least from a sense of Power BI? And the reason for this is that we still use the Office 365 commerce piece for Power BI, for the new Power BI experience. And so if you are an organization and you have a lot of users within your organization existing already, and you just want to assign those licenses to the free licenses to them, or if you buy the pro experience and you want to assign those licenses to a bunch of users, this is a quick and easy way that you can go about doing that instead of doing one at a time or waiting for them to uh, actually sign up. So let's go take a look at the Office 365 admin portal. And what we can see here is we're already looking at our active user list. Let me go ahead and select a few accounts in here. These are just my service accounts, but we'll go ahead and select those anyway. Once we have our users selected over on the right, we can go ahead and click edit. And this will bring us to the bulk edit wizard. Um, the first screen that we have here is details. We can, uh, we can assign these details to all of the users if we want. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit next with no changes. Uh, next are the actual settings for those accounts. So like if you wanna make them a global admin, if you wanna change all their location um, or set, set sign-in status, you can do that. I'm not gonna change anything here. So let's hit next. And then we get to the license screen. So the first thing I wanna do is change the radio dial because the first one that's selected basically says we're gonna keep whatever licenses that they already have. So what I wanna do is add to existing license assignment. Um, I wanna keep whatever licenses that they already have. And then we'll scroll down till we see Microsoft Power BI. So that's for the free user experience um, for, the, for the new service. So let's go ahead and select that. We're gonna give each of these users one of those. Take a look at the license count so far. You'll see that I only have four uh, assigned out of the million. So let's go ahead and hit submit. And that is done. We'll hit finish. And if we go back in, let's go to the reporting services one. We'll go and edit licenses. So we'll come down below and we'll see that we have uh, the Microsoft Power BI. It shows unlimited. In some of the screens, you'll see unlimited licenses. In other screens, you'll see a million. It's the same thing. Um, so, but we can see that that license is assigned at this point. Um, you can also see it here over on the right under details for that account as well. That's just a quick way to get licenses assigned to a bunch of users that you don't have to go into each individual one and assign those items to. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Tuesdays, we're going to do technical walkthroughs or digging in of items such as this that I get from just support cases that we deal with um, or just things that I see that I might want to share out with the community. Every Thursday, I'm going to do an information roundup where I look at all of the things that happened during the last week and uh, just pick out a few to share out with you as well. And really, this is all about you. I want to help you be successful in your job by sharing out as much as I can from what happens on the support side out to you. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.